Have you ever wondered how belly dancers look so boneless when they dance? How they move so subtly? Hi, I'm Johanna Kronitsky from Hip Expressions Belly Dance Studio in St. Petersburg, Florida, helping you work on your rib cage isolations. What you're going to need is a room to yourself, a quiet space, a mirror, and some inspirational music. Now, before you start belly dancing, make sure you have proper posture, feet are together, knees are bent, belly buttons pulled in, shoulders are back and down, and hands are out away from your body, nice and isolated. Now, to work on your rib cage isolations, you may want to do some stretching first. We often work on stretching the front of the body and the back of the body, but we also need to stretch out our sides. So a really good stretch for this is to bring the right hand up and drop the right hip. So lengthen the distance between your rib cage and your hip. One side and then the other. So really get a nice long stretch from the rib cage to the hip and stretch alternating sides. Think about that space where all your belly is, stretching that out, lengthening the spine. Good. And then you can also stretch forward and back. Stretching out the back and stretching the belly, lifting the chest. Stretch out the back and then stretch the belly, lifting the chest. Good, so then we're gonna come back to center. Hands out to the sides, place them on your invisible doorway and think about sliding the chest from side to side. For those of you who remember typewriters, it's like the carriage on the typewriter. So here's your base, your base is your hips, and then the torso goes side to side. Make sure that the hips aren't also moving with the rib cage. You don't want your hips sliding side to side, just the rib cage. Work on that isolation in the mirror so that your hands don't move, your head doesn't move, nothing moves, just the rib cage, side to side, good. You can also practice forward and back with the chest. Forward and back. Again, the hips should not slide forward or back, just the rib cage. Forward and back. work on putting all those together side to side and forward and back to work on your torso circle. It's a nice way to start to learn to isolate and then you can get into more complex moves, perhaps some figure eights or not just a horizontal circle which we're doing but also a vertical circle. And remember go both directions. I'm Johanna Kronitsky with Hip Expressions Belly Dance Studio, helping you work on your torso isolations. Happy, happy dancing.